Let's begin. Have you got water? Come and either, no, let's start by lying down on your mat. So we'll start by lying down. Just take those few moments to get super comfortable. And take up as much space as you feel comfortable. And draw your shoulder blades under, turn the palms of your hands to get up towards the ceiling. And just take those few deeper breaths. So take a big deep breath in here through your nose. And then nice air tail out. Again, inhale deeply. And exhale slowly. Just really feel yourself land in the space, land on your mat, land in your body. You notice how you feel this morning. Notice perhaps what the weather is like in your mind. And as we have each yoga practice, try to just fully turn up with whatever is going on today with whatever is going on right now. There's no need to change it. We try and embrace the sensations. We try and embrace the feelings, the thoughts. We try to breathe them to our body and flush them through with the breath. Let's take that one more big deep inhale. Nice, exhale out. And slowly, on your next inhale, let's draw the knees into your chest. So hold on to your knees, hold on to your shins, begin to just gently rock, roll out your lower back. So gentle rocking here side to side. So you can really fully connect to the base of your spine to your lower back. So we hold a lot of tension. So just gently rock it out, gently roll it out. And we'll separate the knees. Draw your knees now closer towards your armpits and just start to circle your ankles here. So roll your ankles here in one direction. Move your toes here. And then circle the ankles in the opposite side. Sit direction, still moving your toes. Really feel yourself grounding against the mat. And we'll come in to thread the needle this time. So place your right ankle just above your left knee, thread the needle, take your right hand through the gap between your legs and you catch the hamstrings and you catch your shin and gently start to draw your left knee here towards your chest. Flex your right foot, keep your right foot flexed. Protect the integrity of the right knee. So you're stacking the ankle and the knee joint. Really roll out your right hip. Breathing. Mm -hmm. Inhale, lengthen out your left leg. Catch the calf, ankle, or reach your foot if you want to reach your foot. Keep drawing your lower back here to the floor. And just try to keep your left foot and your right foot here flat. And try not to lift your bum here too much. Try to keep going your lower back to the floor. Left foot and right foot flex. And then slowly lower your left leg down. Baby cradle your right. So catch your right knee in your right hand, your foot here in your left hand. If it's there for you, you might want to wrap your elbow and um, the inner elbow around your foot and your knee and see if you can really feel like you still roll out your right hip. So make this about opening into the right hip. Still keep your right foot 
flex. So right foot flexed in your hand. Left leg can come all the way down the mat. Rest on the mat. And then slowly take your right knee across the body over to the left. Take your right arm here out to the side. Keep your right shoulder really nice and close to the mat. And see if you can really flush the breath here into the right side of your rib cage. Your left hand can rest on your right knee. And maybe look over your right arm here towards the side. And then slowly bring your knee back up again. And we'll switch sides. So place your left ankle just above your right knee. Thread the needle. Take your left hand now through the gap between your legs. Catch the hamstrings or catch your shin. Gently draw your right knee here towards your chest. Roll out your left hip, keeping your left foot here flexed. And keep reminding yourself to breathe. So you can again flush the sensations through with your breath. And inhale, lengthen out your right leg. You catch the calf, ankle, or foot again. Keep drawing your lower back here to the floor. Again, keep your left foot and your right foot flexed. Again, try not to lift your bum too much. Try to keep drawing your lower back here to the floor. Both feet are flexed. And again, still roll out your left hip. And then slowly lower your right leg down and maybe cradle your left. So catch your knee in your left hand, your foot here in your right hand. It might feel completely different on the left side than it did on the right side. For me, my left hip is much, much tighter than my right. Again, stretch your right leg down the mat. Keep your left foot flexed in your hand. So you're still rolling out your left hip. Take one more breath here. And then slowly take your left knee across the body over to the other side. Take your left arm here out to the side. Keep your left shoulder close to the mat again. Flush the breath now through the left side of your rib cage, through the left side of your body. Take one more breath here. And then slowly bring your knee back up again. Draw both knees here into your chest. Just give yourself a brief tight squeeze. So big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And just push your right ankle over your left. Roll up. Come into downward facing dog. So you're stepping straight into downward facing dog. So coming into that nice strong downward facing goal, most likely it's your first downward of the day. So start to walk out your legs, begin to paddle out your feet here, walk the legs out on the spot, bending the knees here, perhaps gently swaying the hips side to side. Let your head and neck here feel heavy, really try to press the floor away with your hands. Just drop your head, drop your neck. Really try to feel that you're ironing out the creases that may run along the back of your body. Keep the whole of your front body here engaged. And look here between your hands. 
Then slowly start to step towards your hand, to walk your feet towards your hand. Now come into a forward fold, into ragdoll, so catch your opposite elbows, and just gently start to sway your upper body side to side. Keep your feet here, hip distance apart, don't worry about your legs here being, being completely straight. So soften your knees here slightly and gently sway your upper body side to side. And drop your hands. Now root down here through your feet, press the floor away and bring yourself here all the way up to stand. Reach your arms here all the way up. Exhale, drop right back into your heart and release your hands. So now coming to the top of your mat, look down at your feet here. Keep your feet hip distance apart and stack your ankles underneath your hips. Think about the bony bits of your hips and your rib bones and draw those towards each other. Now lift your chest, try to lengthen your collarbone, really try to slide the shoulder blades onto your back and just softly turn the palms of your hands open and slightly up towards the ceiling. Really allow yourself now to feel grounded, grounded through your feet. Relax your shoulders here slightly. Coming into our breathing exercise, our pranayama, I had a request from Christine to do exercise to really strengthen the lungs and to really come into the breath. So let's really focus on the breath. As you inhale, you breathe in deeply through your nose, squeezing the top of your throat slightly. And as you exhale, you do the same thing, where you slightly squeeze the top of your throat and you exhale out slowly. You feel like you're pushing all the air out. So let's do eight of those, so inhale deeply, big deep breath in, really fill the lungs all the way to the top, reach your arms all the way up and then exhale, slowly release everything out. Again, inhale deeply, exhale slowly, try to inhale with sound. And then exhale the sound. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. So let's do four more. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Three more. Keep going. Last big deep breath in. Really try to fill the lungs all the way to the top. Try and take that extra sip here at the top. And then exhale out through your nose. Come back to Tadasana, come back to neutral. Again, really drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and notice the value of your feet. So inhale, float your arms up. Lift your arms up, lift your chest up, catch your right wrist here with your left hand, draw your shoulders down, engage your belly, and exhale, take yourself slowly over towards the left. Lengthen out the right side body, gently feed your hips here to the right, and just keep knitting the front of your belly here towards each other. Lift your lower belly, lift your chest. You can bend the elbows, but try to lengthen your elbows. Gently pull on that right wrist and send your hips here to the right. Then the inhale, slowly come up. And then switch your hands here around. Right hand on your left wrist. Wrist again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take it over to the other side and open up the left side body. Again, gently take your hips here to the left. Keep knitting the front of your belly towards each other. Draw your left arm behind your left ear. Every exhale can take you slightly deeper and keep rooting down through your feet. Lift your lower belly, lift your chest. Every exhale can take you slightly deeper. And inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release the hands. Back to talas and then back to neutral. Again, drop the shoulders, take a natural breath and notice the body of your feet. And inhale, float your arms up. 
reach up, maybe look up, and then exhale, slowly fold. Now hook the big toes here with your middle and index finger, so with your peace fingers, press the big toes onto your fingers, heels into the mat, and slowly start to feed your belly and your chest here closer to your legs. Hollow out your belly, draw your elbows away from each other, draw the shoulder blades away from each other, press the big toes onto your fingers, heels into the mat, Notice how much you need to engage the whole front side of your body to create the space and the length here through the back side of your body. Let's take two more breaths here. And then release your toes and press the floor away. Slowly bring yourself here all the way up to stand. Reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, draw it back into your heart. And again, release your hands. Then drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and just notice the grounding of your feet here. So now coming into our first back bend, take your hands here into your lower back and really support your lower back here. Begin to very gently feed your hips here forward. Lift your chest here up, squeeze your elbows and shoulder blades towards each other. Now keep lifting your chest, Maybe drop your head and neck all the way back if it feels good on your head, on your neck and your throat. Keep sending your chest up, your hips here forward, and gently drop back. Keep drawing your rib points and your hip points here towards each other. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release the hands back to neutral, back to mountain pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, slowly fold. So if you look at your feet, just make sure that the insides of your feet are parallel with each other and your feet are still hip distance apart. We're going to come into Utkatasana or chair pose. So bend your knees, sit back in that imaginary chair, reach your arms here forward, and if it's there, you maybe reach your arms up. Now draw your pubic bone up towards your belly button, hip points, rib points towards each other. Press the edges of your feet down. Try to bring your thighs here parallel to the floor. Again, keep engaging your belly. Then exhale, slowly fold. So again, we're going to come into chair or utkatasana. You should feel that really fire up your legs. So bend your knees here. Bring your thighs here parallel to the floor. Reach your arms here forwards and up. Draw hip points, rib points towards each other. Attach your pubic bone to your belly button. Try to take your bum back slightly and keep pressing the edges of your feet down. And then exhale, slowly fold. Now coming into twisted chair, so bring your feet here together. You have the big toe mounts here to touch and your heels might just be a tiny, tiny bit apart. Coming into twist, twisted chair, Bend your knees, bring your thighs again parallel to the floor, reach your arms forwards and up. Then hands in prayer in front of your chest and take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Just draw your chest up towards your thumbs, your sternum up towards your thumbs. Draw your belly really firmly away from your legs. Press the heels of your hands here together and really try to feel like you can expand your chest. And inhale, come up through center. Exhale, take it over to the other side. So right elbow against the outside of your left knee. Press your knee against your elbow. Your elbow back against your knee. Draw your belly really firmly away from your legs. And try to keep your hips and knees fairly square here with the top of your mat. Take one more breath here. Then inhale, come up through center. Exhale, release, stand up. And then separate your feet here, hip distance apart, come back to Hadas and then come back to neutral. Again, drop the shoulders, take a natural breath. Notice the ground on your feet. So we're going to come into tree pose. So put the weight here into your left foot. Bring your right foot up, turn the heel in, place your right foot on the inside of your left leg. Either above or below your knee, just try not to place it against the knee joint. Take your hands in prayer in front of your chest, press your foot against your leg and your leg back against your foot and just see if you can stand as tall as possible, growing and lengthening your spine. 
And then inhale, reach up towards the ceiling. Can relax your shoulders slightly. Feel like you have space to breathe. Draw hip points, rib points towards each other. Lift your lower belly. Keep breathing, nice long spine. Press your foot against your leg and your leg back against your foot. And then slowly come out. Release your right foot. Drop your right foot down. Come back to Tadas and back to neutral. Again, drop your shoulders. Take a natural breath. And notice the grounding of your feet. And go all the way into your right foot. Bring your left foot up. Place your left foot on the inside of your right leg. Again, above or below your knee. Hands in prayer or Anjali Mudra here in front of your chest. Now press your foot against your leg and your leg back against your foot. And see if you can grow as tall as possible. Nice long spine. Then inhale, reach up towards the ceiling. And draw the shoulders down, spin the pinkies towards each other. Nice long neck, keeping your chin here parallel to the floor. Draw your hip points, rib points towards each other. Lift your pelvic floor here. And slowly come out. Release your left foot, drop your left foot down and come back to Kalas and back to neutral. And drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and really notice the ground of your feet. So now coming into our leg raises. So put all the weight into your left foot again. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Catch your knee here. Give it a really tight squeeze in towards your chest. And then place the hands here on your hips. Begin to flex your right foot. And slowly start to kick out through the right heel. And see if you can raise your right leg, the right leg then as high as possible. Try not to lean back. Try and lean forward if anything. And bend your right knee, lower your right foot down, come back to Parasana, back to neutral. Now draw your left knee in towards your chest. Again, catch your knee, give it a tight squeeze in towards your chest. And then place the hands on your hips, flex your left foot, and slowly start to kick out through the left heel. Now try and raise your left leg as high as possible. Lift your lower belly, squeeze your right buttock, and try to stand as tall as possible. And bend your left knee, lower your left foot down, come back to Tadas, and then come back to neutral. Again, drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and then just sit down in your feet. So now we'll step out into our warrior sequence. So step your right foot to the front of your mat, and your left foot hits the back of your mat. Take a really wide step. You can measure this by bringing your arms shoulder height and your wrist should be above your ankles. Now look at your right heel and see if you can line up your right heel with the arch of your back foot. Now bend your right knee here 90 degrees. Coming into warrior two. Press the edges of your feet down. Try to keep both arms shoulder height. Look over your right hand. Press the edges of your feet down. Feel like your upper body here is centered between your feet. Maybe you're bending them into your right knee just a little bit more. Relax your shoulders slightly. Give yourself that space to breathe. And then slowly move forward. Now land your elbow just above the knee and take your left arm, reach up towards the ceiling. Now try not to drop the right side too low. Stay long here for the right side of your torso. You have an option here of extending your right arm. Then just press your elbow against the knee and the knee back against your elbow. See if you can grow extra space between your shoulder blades and just keep pressing the edges of your feet down. And inhale, slowly come up and extend your right leg now. Draw the right toes in. Get the big toes here to point towards each other. Heels are slightly turned out. Keep your arms here, shoulder height. Inhale, lift your lower belly. Exhale, slowly fold. And land your hands now on the floor. Walk your fingers here forwards. Lift your chest and just come halfway up. Exhale, fold. And you can start to walk your hands back. You could reverse the fingers. You can very gently cool on the floor to really open up your upper back and your shoulders. Press the outer edges of your feet here down. And lift the inner arches of your feet here up. Drop your head, drop your neck. Supercharge your legs here, hollow out your belly. Take one more breath here. And then slowly move your hands here forwards. 
Lift your chest, come halfway up. Hands on your hips, engage your belly and your legs. Press the floor away and bring yourself again. Move the way up to stand. Second side, so step, turn your left foot. And line up your left heel with the arch of your right foot, back foot. Bring your arms again, shoulder height. And bend your left knee here 90 degrees. So sink into that left hip. Press the edges of your feet down and really engage your belly. So center your upper body, your hip points, rib points towards each other. Expand your arms. See if you can feel like you're expanding from the center line. At the same time, you're hugging every bone and every muscle here towards that same center line. Let your left knee here just a little bit more. And then slowly move forward, land your left elbow and take your right arm, reach up towards the ceiling. Again, reach into the right fingertips, lift your lower belly, lift your right hip bone. And again, you have that option, so it's optional to extend your left arm and just press your elbow against the knee, knee back against your elbow. Press the extra space between your shoulder blades and keep pressing the edges of your feet down. You have to engage your belly here a little bit more. Inhale, slowly come up, extend your left leg and then draw the left toes in. Get the big toes again to point towards each other. Heels are slightly turned out, arms are still shoulder height. Inhale, exhale, fold. This time land your hands on your calves or ankles. You might want to slide your fingers underneath the outer edges of your feet. Drop your head, drop your neck. Hollow out your belly, supercharge your legs. Press the outer edges of your feet down, lift the inner arches of your feet here up. Really try to feel like you're engaging the whole front side of your body to create space and length here through the back side of your body. Let's take two breaths here. And then slowly release the hands, walk your fingers here forward, lift your chest, come halfway up. Hands again on your hips, engage your belly and your legs, press the floor and bring yourself up to stand. Just heel toe your feet slightly closer together. And then you can step towards the front of your mat. And then drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and again, really notice the ground of your feet. So we're gonna come into our eagle pose, into eagle sequence here. So bend your left knee, take your right leg, wrap it up and over, and your foot can come round your calf or place your right big toe next to your standing foot. Take your right arm underneath your left, wrap your arms around each other, place the palms together. Now inhale, draw length through your spine. Exhale, squeeze your legs here together and lower your seat, so lower your bum. Try to raise your elbows up, maybe shoulder height. You might want to draw your arms slightly further away from your face. Keep squeezing your legs here together. Keep your belly here engaged and try to stay focused on your breath. So you're finding your drifty or gaze point. See if you can focus on that point and breathe towards that point. Now come into nesting eagle. So drop your forearms, drop your torso. Still keep engaging your belly. Press your back leg against your front leg and your front leg here against your back leg. Stay focused on your breath. Stay connected to your belly. And come into that tricky transition where you transition to warrior three. Option here is for your arms to either reach forward, maybe to cactus your arms. You could also reach your arms back. If it's all a little bit too much, place the hands in prayer in front of your chest. Maybe bend your standing knees slightly. So you can make a hammer shape with your right foot and point all the toes, all your right toes here to the floor. Connect to your belly. And then slowly bring your right leg back in. Tadasana, get neutral, drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and then again, notice the ground of your feet. So now coming into our second side. So bend your right knee here, take your left leg, wrap it up and over, your foot can come round your calf or place your left big toe next to your standing foot. Take your left arm underneath your right, wrap your arms here around each other, place the palms together. Again, inhale, draw legs through your spine, exhale, slowly start to squeeze your legs together, 
and lower your bum. Now try to stop your left hip from moving forward. Bring your left hip back, bring your right hip forward. So hips and shoulders are square. Hollow out your belly, stay connected to your belly, focus on your breath, find your drifty, and really focus on that point. Now come into nesting eagle, drop your forearms, drop your torso, so squeeze your legs here together, hollow out your belly, again stay connected to your belly and stay connected to your breath, and then unravel slowly into warrior three. Again, option for your arms to reach forwards. You can cactus your arms, you can reach your arms back, connect to your core. That helps you stabilize the most. If you want to bend your standing knees slightly to help you stabilize, you can. And then to focus on your breath again. Allow yourself to really be fully carried by your breath. And then slowly bring your left leg back in. Again, Tadasana, neutral, drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, perhaps notice your heart rate. So coming into crescent lunge, so this is the warm up pose before the big chest opener, before dancers pose. So really focus on your legs here. Step your left foot to the front. And your right foot here to the back of your mat. Take a really nice wide step. Now place the hands here on your hips. To begin to bend your left knee, bend your right knee slightly, lift the right heel up. And then slowly start to press your right heel back. Lengthen your right leg. Inhale, float your arms up. Keep your hips square, reach into the fingertips, draw hip points, root points here towards each other. Root down through the balls of your feet. Feel like you can magnetize the balls of your feet here. You should feel fairly buoyant in your legs here. Take one more breath here. And then slowly step your right foot back in. Tadasana, neutral. And drop the shoulders. Take a natural breath. Notice the grounding of your feet. Now step your right foot to the front and your left foot here to the back of your mat. Again, take that really nice wide step. Just feel that the hips are square with the top of your mat. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee slightly, lift the heel above your ball, the ball of your foot, and then inhale, float your arms get up. And keep your hips square, keep your shoulders square, draw your hip points, rib points towards each other, create space through all four sides of your body, and really focus on opening that left leg. Relax your shoulders slightly, give yourself a space to breathe. Take one more breath here. And then slowly step your right foot back in. Tadasana, then neutral. Drop the shoulders, take a natural breath. Notice the grounding of your feet. So now coming into our dancer's pose, coming into that big chest opener. So focus on opening the chest. You don't have to drop your chest really low. You don't have to bend your back as much as you think. So just keep engaging your belly so you stay connected to your lower back. Now inhale, float your arms here up. Exhale, lower your right hand down. Bend your right knee, catch your right foot here. Bring your knees together so they touch. Now lengthen here through the whole left side of your rib cage, and then exhale slowly. Start to press the right foot into your hand. Squeeze your shoulder blades here towards each other. Lift your chest here up, and keep working with your breath here. So on the inhale, lift your chest. On the exhale, press the foot here away from you and into your hand. So ground your standing foot. Lift your chest on an inhale. Keep breathing, keep working with your breath, and draw hip points, rib points here towards each other. Try to feel like you can imagine that your right foot is coming up and over your right shoulder. Take two more breaths here. And then we'll slowly come out. Place your right foot next to your left, and then come back to Tadasana, back to neutral. And drop the shoulders, 
and take a natural breath. And it's just the running of your feet. So coming into our second side. So put the weight into your right foot, catch your left foot here. Bring your left knee close to your right. So get them to touch. Reach in through the whole right side of your rib cage. And then exhale, slowly start to press the left foot into your hand. Squeeze your shoulder blades here towards each other. Keep working with your breath here. So on the inhale, lift your chest. And the exhale, press the foot into your hand. So this time, your left foot is going up and over your left shoulder. Then you bend your standing knees slightly. Lift your lower belly here. So again, hip points, rib points are engaged. And keep working with your breath. So on the inhale, lift your chest. On the exhale, press the foot here back against your hand. Ground your standing foot, keep breathing. One more breath here. And then we'll slowly come out. Come back to Tadasana, come back to neutral. And drop the shoulders. Take a natural breath. And then really notice the ground of your feet. Big chest open up. Relax your shoulders slightly. So we're doing a second round. This time perhaps it's a slightly shorter hold here. Well, it is definitely a short, slightly shorter hold. Perhaps you can come into it slightly stronger. So inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, lower your right hand down. Bend your right knee, catch your foot again. Bring your knees here together so they touch. Reach here through the left side of your rib cage. And then exhale, slowly press the right foot into your hand. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Lift your chest here on an inhale. On the exhale, press the foot here back against your hand. And then we'll slowly come out. Then Tadasana, neutral. Drop the shoulders. Take a natural breath. Notice the ground of your feet. So coming into our second side, our last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower your left hand down, bend your knee, catch your foot. Start by bringing the knees here together so they touch. Reach here through the whole right side of your rib cage. Then exhale, press the left foot here into your hand. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Again, work with your breath here. Keep your belly engaged. Draw hip points, rib points towards each other. Lift your chest, press your foot back. And then we'll slowly come out. Tadasana, get neutral. Get the shoulders, take a natural breath. Notice the ground of your feet. So now coming into our counter pose, we really close the chest, coming into pyramid pose. So if your right foot to the front and your left foot to the back of your mat. Keep your feet here square, keep your hips here square. Interlace your fingers, place the hands here behind your head. Inhale, lift your lower belly. Exhale, slowly fold. Now take your forehead here to your knee. Tuck your chin here into your throat and draw your elbows towards your knee. Feed your left hip forward and draw your right hip back. And then slowly press your heels down and bring yourself all the way back up to stand. Switch your feet here around, left foot to the front, right foot to the back of your mat. And keep your hips square. Interlace your fingers perhaps the opposite way. Hands again behind your head. Inhale, exhale, fold. Again, taking your forehead to your knee. Tuck your chin here into your throat and draw your elbows towards your knee. Feed your right hip forward, draw your left hip back, hollow out your belly. And then press your feet down and bring yourself all the way up to stand. Then step towards the front of your mat, back to pass and back to neutral. Again, drop the shoulders, take a natural breath. Really notice the value of your feet. Coming into Malasana, our 
uh, squat pose. So separate your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And lower the knees. You can land your elbows here. You can drop your hips all the way down. And make sure elbows are against the inner knees. And lift out of your lower back. Draw your shoulders down. Lift your chest here up. And very gently to draw your knees here away from each other. Soften into your hips here. Nice long spine. And then we'll slowly come out and we'll set up for plank pose. And we will hold plank for one minute. I will tell you when I will start that minute. So come down onto your elbows. You can interlace your fingers, you can also have your hands separate. And then you have two options here, whether you tuck the toes here, bringing your whole body parallel to the mat, or you drop down onto your knees and you cross your ankles behind your back. Your minute for plank will start now. So either tuck the toes, bring your whole body parallel to the mat, or stay on your knees. Press your elbows down. See if you can round your upper back here slightly. Try to create a really strong belly. Try to create strong legs, but also strong arms. Focus on your breath. And again, see if you can let yourself be carried by your breath, by that nice, smooth, even breath here, in and out through your nose. We have about half a minute left. And then slowly bend your knees and press back to child's pose. So take your bum here back towards your heels. Allow your sit bones here to feel heavy. Your tailbone can feel heavy. And just for right now, really fully stop. Take a moment to catch up with your breath, catch up with your heart rate. And inhale, slowly move yourself forward and come and lie down on your belly. And we'll set up for our back bends on the belly. So come and lie down. And place your hands here underneath your shoulders, starting with a low cobra. So hands underneath your shoulders. Start with your chin on the mat or your forehead on the mat. Up to you whether you take your legs wide or maybe bring your feet together here. Now inhale, lift your chest up, let your hands here hover above the mat or lightly brush the mat. Try to drag your belly here away from the floor. Inhale, lift the top of your head up. Exhale, try to press the tops of your feet here down. Exhale, slowly come out. Stack the palms, place your forehead onto stack palms and just gently rock out your hips. A gentle rocking side to side. Now reach back with your hands. So palms of the hands can either face the hips or face the floor. Again, start with your chin or your forehead on the mat. Inhale, lift your chest up. Lift your arms up. Also this time, lift your legs up. You can try to drag your belly away from the floor. Squeeze the back of your body here towards each other. Inhale, lift, exhale, press your feet back. Slowly come out. Again, stack the palms. Place your forehead onto stack palms and gently rock out your hips. Gentle rocking side to side. So we're going to come into um, a back end on the belly, down resting on the belly. So bend your knees, catch your feet here in your hands. Try to stop your knees in this pose from drifting away from each other. Again, start with your chin or your forehead on the mat. On your inhale, lift your chest up and the exhale, press the feet here back against your hands. Inhale, lift, exhale, press your feet back. Inhale, lift, exhale, press your feet back. Slowly come out. And this time, press back to child's pose. So take your bum again back towards your heels. Press your forehead on the mat. 
Great space here through your spine and soften your hips here. And then allow your sit bones to feel heavy. So notice the light lengthening here of your spine. And then inhale, slowly come up. Move to the front of your mat. We're going to come into saddle pose to really open up the quads. So get that big toes to touch behind you. Take your knees as wide as the mat. Lean back here on your hands. Briefly lift your hips up where you can scoop your tailbone under. And then settle your tailbone here between your heels. The option then is to stay on your hands or to maybe lower down onto your elbows. And if you're there in your physical body this morning, we lower all the way down into your shoulders. If your shoulders are touching the mat here, see if you can take your arms up and over. Just press your knees down, press your toes down. Focus on your upper legs and really coming into the quads, into the hip flexors, the quads, and try to soften them here with your breath. Try to keep sending your tailbone forwards. Last breath here. Everyone slowly come up. Again, pop up onto your elbows, lift yourself up, come back to child's pose briefly. And then have slowly come up. And now we'll fold the mat in if you want to. If you have sensitive knees, definitely give your knees a little bit of extra padding. And just place your knees then on the double end of your mat. Tuck your toes here and just sit back onto your heels. Catch your toes. See if you can spread them out. Just get every single toe here to touch the mat. Then lift yourself up onto your knees and take your hands here into your lower back. Support your lower back here. Begin to feed your hips here forwards. Lift your chest here up. Squeeze your elbows and shoulder legs towards each other. Stay here or maybe drop back. Catch the heels in your hands. Lift your chest high. Feed your hips forwards. Only drop your head and neck if it feels comfortable on your neck and your throat. You can always keep looking down your chest. I recommend keeping the eyes open. You're drifting down the line of your nose. Your gaze point is down the line of your nose. Slowly come out. So support your lower back. Squeeze your upper legs. Slowly come out and come back to balance child's pose. Inhale, come up. Last camel, last back bend here. So come up onto your knees. You can tuck the toes. You can leave your toes untucked if that feels better. Or if you leave the toes untucked, you're a little bit further to reach. Again, support your lower back here with your hands. Feed your hips here forwards. Lift your chest here up. Squeeze your elbows and shoulder blades towards each other. Now stay here or maybe drop back. Catch the heels in your hands, lift your chest high, feed your hips forwards. Only drop your head and leg if it feels comfortable, your neck and your throat, chest high, hips forward. Only drop your head and neck if it feels comfortable. Now to come out, support your lower back, squeeze your upper legs, slowly come out and come back to balance and come back to child's And then inhale, slowly come up. So let's come to sit and come and sit cross legged. Place your right foot in front of your left. If you have knee pain, you might want to wedge something behind your knee. You might want to support the knees. Or if this is totally uncomfortable for you, come in to thread the needle. So ground your sit bones here. Sit really nice and tall. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, exhale, slowly fold forward. So actively try to press your sit bones back and down. See if you can soften your right hip. Lightly turn your belly, breathe into your back, breathe into your right hip. Eventually when you feel like you can't move any further forward, maybe drop your head, drop your neck.
Inhale, slowly come up. And just reach the crossing of your legs here. So now place your left foot in front. Round both sit bones, sit really nice and tall, lengthen, inhale, exhale, slowly fold forward. So then walk your hands, keep forward, stretch and lengthen your spine, soften your left hip, breathe into your back, breathe into your left hip. So lightly turn your belly, maybe try to access your back body here with your breath. And inhale, slowly come up. And just lift your knees up, lengthen out both legs, roll the inner thighs here. You can walk your sit bones back, press the heels down, point your toes here up. Zip up your belly, lift out of your lower back. Now inhale, float your arms here up. Reach into your fingertips, exhale, slowly fold forward. Just let your hands here land where they need to land. Come up slightly on the inhale and exhale, fold. Chest forward, top of your head here forward. Eventually here, begin to drop your head. Keep your feet square and keep your legs here evenly engaged. Take one more breath here. And then inhale, slowly come up. And just make your way down onto your back. So come and lie down. We'll start with, on the back, we'll start with a reclined twist. So draw both knees here into your chest. Keep your knees here together. Drop both knees to the left. Take your right arm out to the side. Keep your right shoulder close to the mat. And again, flush the breath here into the right side of your rib cage, the right side of your body. And then slowly draw both knees back into your chest. Again, keep your knees here together. Drop both knees now to the other side. Your left arm here out to the side. Keep your left shoulder close to the mat. And really breathe into the left side your ribcage, left side of your body. And then slowly draw both knees back into your chest. And then place your feet here on either side of your mat and just drop your knees here together. Press your lower back here down. Maybe take your arms slightly wide. We'll finish with three line breaths. Again, nice cleansing breath, cooling breath, cleansing breath, releasing breath. Again, strong one for the lungs. So on your inhale, you really inhale fully, all the way filling your belly. On the exhale, you open your mouth, you stick your tongue out, and press the air up from the base of your belly. So the exhale, everything naturally out right now. And then inhale deeply. And then exhale. And then inhale. And exhale. And last big deep breath in. And then exhale. Then either stay here like this with your knees here touching. If this feels really comfortable for you, stay here. Or maybe slide your legs to get down the mat and come and lie down into that full Shavasana. Take up as much space as you feel comfortable, allow your whole physical body here to feel heavy. Try to let go of your arms, your hands, your legs, your feet. Drop your chest, soften your belly. Just notice your physical body resting against the floor. 
draw, resting against the earth. And really take that support and allow yourself to be held. And begin to visualize, see or feel that the breath here is falling into the front of your body. And as it falls into the front of your body, it soaks your whole body. So your whole body is being soaked with the breath. And I feel the breath here. Soak through the body, down into the earth below you. It's sinking down towards the center of the earth until it eventually connects to the center of the earth. So feel yourself connecting to the center of the earth. And with your next breath, feel that your breath is drawing up from the center of the earth. Feel it coming through your body and connect to the realms above your body. Just see, feel, or imagine that your body is that meeting place between heaven and earth. And heaven and earth can meet here with each movement here of your breath. Very slowly, start to take those few deeper breaths. Checking with your hands, fingers, feet, toes. If it feels good, maybe stretch out over the head. And then draw one knee into your chest, or the other knee into your chest, and slowly roll to the right and just stay there for a few breaths. Very slowly, and when you're ready, bring yourself up, come into a comfortable seat. And just keep your eyes here closed. Maybe place your hands on your knees or in your lap. Settle into your seats here. Just briefly scan your body, check in with how you feel. Notice the quality of your presence. Notice the rhythm. And either from the heart, get with your hands or hands and Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. And just lift your heart up to your hands, lightly tuck your chin, bow your head here to your heart. And here in deep gratitude of our magical body, a powerful mind and nourishing breath. May this practice here inspire your daily life. May we offer this practice to those and to where it is needed the most. The skin you shed here today, feed the soil around you. You gently remind yourself to keep giving and not to give up. And may we all breathe in the unknown and breathe out. Peace. Breathe in. 
Just take one more big deep breath into your heart and your hands. Nice, exhale out. My heart to yours. When you are ready, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you all again for joining. That was really cool again. Um, loving the fact that we can still sort of connect. Although today for me, it feels really weird that I'm not seeing you guys. Hope to see you all again soon. Thank you, thank you. Sarah.